Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about California allowing out-of-state visitors to visit theme parks with the new guidance. Not already follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Calibet. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be going over an article from the OC Register. Uh, yesterday, I was able to do an article or go over an article and some more information from SeaWorld about this specific subject, which is out-of-state guests now being allowed uh, with certain restrictions to visit California, just like in-state residents. Uh, so this article, let's fire it up. This is from the OC Register. I will put a link in the description of this video. So if you guys want to read it, uh, the link will be in there. California theme parks can allow out-of-state visitors, according to the new state guidelines, fully vaccinated out-of-state visitors can now attend activities or events that have been limited to California residents only. And this is huge because the way Disney has opened or is going to open, uh, the way that Universal has opened, it's California residents only, period. So there's a lot of big change happening. And the one that already made the big change was SeaWorld. Uh, it's almost like they made the change instantly. It was crazy uh, to allow people from out of state that are fully vaccinated. Uh, and, and it was also if you had a negative test within 72 hours, that was something that was applicable as well to allow you to go to the theme park if you're out of state. So let's go. Let's fire up this article. It was written on the April 21st by Brady McDonald. Disney, Universal, and other theme parks in the state that had been forced to limit attendance to California residents can now allow out-of-state visitors under the revised state guidelines. But not all parks are swinging open their gates to interstate travelers just yet. Revised guidelines in Governor Gavin Newsom's blueprint for a safer economy now allow fully vaccinated out-of-state visitors to attend activities or events that are currently limited to California residents only. California theme parks can now allow fully vaccinated visitors from out of state, according to California Department of Public Health officials. And a big question a lot of people were asking, I was reading in the last uh, video, was what about the children, the, the people that can't get vaccinated? And those are all very good questions. Uh, hopefully this article will provide some info on that. But I am uh, keeping an eye open for those answers. The California Attractions and Park Association said in a statement that in an addendum to the state's Rona health and safety guidelines allows California theme parks to admit fully vaccinated out-of-state visitors. This is huge, big change. Something that, that could just create demand like no other because now anybody can visit. Amusement parks responsible reopening plans are guided by the state's blueprint for a safer economy, which was recently updated with an addendum to blueprint activity and business tiers chart. CAPA officials said in a statement, this addendum now allows fully vaccinated persons from out of state to visit or attend activities or events that were previously restricted to in-state visitors. As vaccinations become more widespread and state guidance evolves, individual parks may update their own responsible reopening plan in accordance with state and local public health regulations. The Sacramento-based CAPA represents Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, Knott's Berry Farms, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, SeaWorld, San Diego, Legoland, California, Six Flags, Discovery Kingdom, and California's Great America. California theme parks were permitted to reopen on April 1st under revised state guidance or guidelines after more than one year of Rona closures. Universal Studios Hollywood, Six Flags Magic Mountain, SeaWorld San Diego, Legoland California have already reopened. Disneyland and Disney California Adventure return on April 30th, while Knott's Berry Farm will reopen on May 6th for pass holders. California theme parks are required to limit ticket sales to in-state residents 
under revised state guidelines and Governor Gavin Newsom's blueprint for a safer economy. And here we go. Updates to the guidelines this week. This week. We're talking about just yesterday. Fully vaccinated out-of-state visitors to attend or will allow fully vaccinated out-of-state visitors to attend activities or events that are currently limited to California residents only. State guidelines currently limit attendance to only California residents at theme parks, live performances, and professional sporting events. California residents are not required to be vaccinated or show proof of vaccination to enter theme parks in the state. SeaWorld San Diego is allowing out-of-state visitors who show proof of Rona vaccination. Visitors must be fully vaccinated, meaning two weeks have passed since the second shot of the two-dose Moderna or Pfizer vaccines or the only shot of the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. SeaWorld has since removed an option that allowed out-of-state visitors who could show proof of a negative Rona test taken within 72 hours of a park visit. So it looks like that is gone. <laughs> that was on their frequently asked questions as of yesterday. So as of today, uh, which is Wednesday, that is gone. Uh, wow, so a lot of things changing. Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood are not are not allowing out-of-state visitors yet. So it looks like Disneyland will not be making that move. Universal Studios will not be making the move to allow fully vaccinated uh, individuals to come to the park. Until further notice, only California residents are allowed to visit Disneyland and Disney California Adventure theme parks according to Disney officials. So it's official today that only, only California residents are allowed. Uh, so this looks like it's a decision now made by Disney. Uh, while visitation to our theme park is currently available to California residents only, we are reassessing next steps to implement changes to previously released guidance and will share updated information when it becomes available. According to Universal Studios Hollywood spokesperson, you know, Universal Hollywood, Universal Studios Hollywood has tons, tons of tourism. Uh, to be honest, I really feel like that park runs on tourism. Uh, when it's predominantly busy, it is filled with tourism, big time. So the, the, the matter of that, that tourism is no longer coming to Universal Studios Hollywood, uh, only time will tell if the pass holders can keep the capacity high. Uh, but once things start kind of opening up more, if it's going to be tough for Universal to uh, keep the park busy if out of state is not allowed. Uh, because just so many people travel to Hollywood and then Universal Studios Hollywood. And the big thing is always the tram. And to take that away from all tourism and the tram candy, no, no longer, no more tram. Uh, that's going to be a huge effect to uh, just the whole business of Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, I really believe uh, Universal Studios Hollywood is going to try to make the safe option and safe move to get out-of-state guests in uh, that are fully vaccinated now that it's allowed. Um, it's, it's just uh, as of now, they're not doing it. Knott's Berry Farm, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Legoland California, and other California theme parks have not yet announced if they will allow out-of-state visitors. So the big the big question now is to all these theme parks, are you allowing uh, out-of-state visitors who are fully vaccinated? The Californians only rule for theme parks, which continues through the red, orange, and yellow tiers of the blueprint for a safer economy, is tied to the current California Department of Public Health Travel Advisory. Travel from outside of California is strongly discouraged and out-of-state travelers are advised to self-quarantine for 10 days. So that is still a big one there too. Anybody that's traveling from out-of-state, that applies to you still. Strongly discouraged and uh, out-of-state travel is advised to self-quarantine for 10 days. Uh, according to the travel advisory, the advisory urges California residents to avoid traveling more than 120 miles from home and U.S. and California health officials have discouraged 
recreational travel during the pandemic, which increases the risk of spreading Rona variants. California theme parks are using online reservation systems with geocoding capabilities, which I mentioned a long time ago, and GPS data to determine where theme park visitors uh, are lot where theme park visitors live. So they know where everybody's coming from. And uh, if there's certain Rona spikes in certain zip codes, you best believe they're gonna be like, we're not accepting reservations from that area, nope. But uh, as of right now, uh, this is all interesting. Um, now that the ball's on the court of, of the theme parks, if they are gonna allow for out-of-state visitors or not, uh, it's gonna, it, it's just, it's a tough position, uh, especially for these theme parks because they had all this momentum to open in a certain way. And then for this huge variant now, which is out-of-state guests, which is a huge demand, uh, it's I'm um, putting that into play. And are they prepared to handle something like that? Uh, is 25 enough, 25% 25 capacity enough for California and out-of-state guests? I don't know. A lot of questions to be asked and uh, we're gonna definitely keep covering this subject because it's very important as we have lots of people concerned and uh, just really wanting the answer to this question. Uh, here in our Five Fire community, there's a lot of out-of-state guests uh, that would love to come to Disneyland, would love to come to Knott's, would love to come to Universal. So we're definitely gonna be covering it. We got Doug over here barking. <laughs> All right, everybody, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for supporting the fire. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah.